Hello viewers, today I am going to be showing you how to clean a VHS player. So, what you're going to need is some rubbing alcohol, isopropyl. Get over there so I can show it all to you. It's uh, isopropyl, 70%, a piece of paper, and... A VHS player. This is how to do it without taking it apart. It's very simple. For best results, take it apart, but this should get you through. Now, the reason why I'm cleaning this is because this one works, but VHS players stop working after a while because the inside fills up with dust and debris, and the four heads will not be able to read the tape properly. You want it to be clean to function. First, take a piece of paper. You want to fold it this way in a um, short direction. And going back to first grade hamburger style. But fold it like this. Now we're going to use this end just like this to stick in there. And then you want to take 70% isopropyl alcohol. Let me zoom in a little more. Maybe it's a little too much. And you want to just put a few drops. There you go, that's enough. Kinda just make sure your hands are clean when you do this. Just kinda sweep it around. There you go, nice and wet. And then you wanna take a paper towel or a rag and kind of dry it so it's damp with alcohol. Now you want to make sure that the unit is unplugged. Me looking at this, it's unplugged from the outlet. Always make sure. So in order to do this, take this and you want to stick it inside this door all the way in Move left to right. I'll zoom out so you all can see it better. You want to move left to right. It's really a one direction, left to right. And then what's that do? That's what that's doing is that's taking alcohol and rubbing it on each head, back and forth. Get all around, all over those heads. Now you want to make sure you don't wet your paper too much because the paper will start falling apart and you don't want paper fibers that would scratch it. That's not good. So, and then once you're done that, you want to take your dry side. Just do the same thing. It's not much. It doesn't look like it's doing anything, but trust me, it is. It's cleaning your heads. It's disinfecting them. It's, it's cleaning that dust and stuff off of them. There you go. Just do that few more times with the dry side. Left to right. All done. So now what we did is we cleaned the inside of this door. All four of his heads are clean. You can already see that one shining. That was extremely dusty. Once they're clean, you're all ready to go. Wait about five minutes and then you want to plug it in and test everything. If it does not work still and it eats up your tape or something like that, you want to do it again. Same process again. If that doesn't work, which very rarely won't work, then your VHS player heads either need replaced or you need a whole unit, new unit. We thank you all for watching this video. If you learned something, make sure you comment down below. And you all have a good day. See ya.